Welcome to the Illustrator CS5 for Architects and Architecture Students Overview video. Okay, in this video I'm just going to take you a few, uh, through a few examples of what is possible with Illustrator and why we use it. Um, what you see here is the uh, PDF that we're going to start off with that we import from Revit. It's a line drawing and it's pretty unimpressive. And this is where we're going to take it to, which is an A3 panel presentation. You could have it your critique um, and that's using a combination of Illustrator and Photoshop which we reference into the same Illustrator panel presentation. Here's one I created earlier, uh, last semester actually, um, and this is the full A0 panel presentation. I ended up splitting it up into two A1s. Um, you'll see a uh, rendered and photoshopped image down the bottom um, and there's a bunch of Illustrator diagrams that um, have been created using the brush strokes which you'll learn all about. You can see there's a bunch of text. Um, there's an occupied section I created, um, which is an uh, imitation of Atelier Bowwow, which I'll show you in a second. Um, you'll see a large one as a 200 plan that was done basically in Revit, but really pimped out in Illustrator. And you'll see the section we'll be working on and a couple of other drawings. And they're isometric. So uh, all of them, well, the vast majority of them have been um, edited and optimized in Illustrator. And here's that example of the Atelier Batwell occupied section. Uh, you can see they've got dimensions, they've um, drawn over photos of people to um, put line work people in there. They've used all sorts of tools including the blend tool. Um, they may have drawn this in Corel Draw, I think I remember hearing, but you can do it in uh, Illustrator and there is a perspective um, drawing tool for drawing um, accurately in 2D. So you'll learn about that in the advanced section, but this is just a sample of the awesome artwork you can uh, create. So if you have a uh, Wacom tablet, tracing people is incredibly easy and you can edit the lines afterwards. Um, using brush strokes you can get really arty um, and create something like this. Well, The thing to do is if you see something you like in a magazine, uh, bring it along to someone who knows a bit of Illustrator. One of us uh, will be down in the um, the CAD labs once a week, just find out when we're going to be there and uh, we'll um, show you how to do it and we'll uh, tell you how feasible it is. Uh, you can create virtually anything so um, don't hesitate to play and ask questions.